Vicky. Hello. Hello. Hi, friends. Vicky is so in tune with her music, it's hard to get her to pay attention to anything else when she's listening to it. Do you know what? That's how God wants us to be, so in tune and listening to Him that nothing else distracts us from hearing His voice. That reminds me of a true story from God's book, The Bible. It's about a young boy named Samuel who heard God's voice more clearly than the grown-ups around him. So let's put on our listening ears and listen to what God wants to say to our hearts. Stories of the Bible. God speaks to Samuel. This is Samuel. Hi. Samuel was the son of Hannah. Hey, Samuel. Hannah prayed for God to give her a son, and God did. So Hannah gave Samuel back to God. See you, Samuel. Bye, Mom. And Samuel grew up in the temple serving under Eli, the priest. Hi, Eli. As Samuel grew up, he learned how to serve God from Eli. Samuel lived in the house of God, but he did not know God or what God's voice sounded like. In those days, messages from God were rare. <sighs> but one night after Eli had gone to bed, Samuel was sleeping in the tabernacle when suddenly God called out, Samuel! Huh? Samuel got up and ran to Eli and said, Did you call me? Uh, me? Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. Then God called out again, Samuel! Huh? And again Samuel got up and ran to Eli asking, Did you call me? Uh, me. Eli said, I didn't call you. Go back to bed. So Samuel did. God called Samuel for a third time, Samuel. Huh? And Samuel went to Eli yet again. Hmm. After three times, Eli realized that God was trying to speak to Samuel. So Eli taught Samuel to say, Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. Okay. Samuel went back to bed, and God came and called as before, Samuel, Samuel! And Samuel said, Speak, your servant is listening. God told him many things about what would happen to Israel. As Samuel grew up, God was with him, and everything God spoke through Samuel came true. Samuel was seen as a great prophet of God because he could hear the voice of God and he listened when God spoke to him. Wow, friends. At first, Samuel didn't realize it was God speaking, but when he did realize it was God, Samuel responded by saying, Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. He was listening to God, and that's our big idea. Listen to God. Friends, let's see if Bible Bunny has any Bible words to help us learn our big idea even better. So let's get bouncy and sing his favorite song. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E Bible. Hi, Bible Bunny. We just watched the story of how God spoke to Samuel. At first, Samuel was confused, but soon he learned to listen. And that's our big idea. Listen to God. Do you have any Bible words that can help us learn our big idea even better? Oh, Bible Bunny, thank you. Today's Bible words come from 1 Peter 2.9. God chose you. And that is so good to hear. God chose you and God chose me. Friends, how about we sing our Bible words I'll sing them first, and then you can sing them with me. God chose you. God chose you. You are God's special treasure. God chose you. Are you ready to sing them with me? God chose you. God chose you. You are God's special treasure. God chose you. 1 Peter 2.9. Great job, kids. That was so much fun. You can practice those all week and next week we can sing the Bible Bunny. Friends, 
Bible Bunny wants to know how he can learn to hear God's voice like Samuel did. You know, the world can be a very busy place. Lots of voices are out there trying to drown out God's voice. But God says in his word that his people will know him and know the sound of his voice. How can you learn the sound of God's voice? Can you think of ways? On the count of three, I want you to share as many ideas as you can. Ready? One, two, three. Oh wow, you guys had some great ideas. I heard a friend say that you can learn to listen to God's voice by reading the Bible. Another friend said by sitting still and listening to what God has to say to our hearts. We can learn to listen to God when we pray. And I heard another friend say they can listen to God by singing and listening to music that talks about God. Bible Bunny, does that help? I'm so glad. Thank you for joining us today, Bible Bunny. We'll see you next time. Bye. Friends, let's practice listening to God by singing this song. If you neglect your Bible, forget to pray, forget to pray, forget to pray. If you neglect your Bible, forget to pray, then you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Then you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. Then you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. If you neglect your Bible, forget to pray. Then you'll shrink, shrink, shrink. One, two, three, four. Friends, God loves you so much, and just like he chose Samuel, he chooses you to hear his voice. You are a special treasure to God. God wants to listen to you, and he wants you to listen to him. If you want to hear God like Samuel, we need to pay attention and listen. Now sometimes I forget to listen. Does God still love us even when we forget? Yes, absolutely. God loves us this much and even more all the time. It's almost time to go. Before we go, let's pray. Let's be very quiet. Let's be very quiet. We fold our hands, bow our heads, and pray to God. God, give us ears to hear you right now. Thank you for choosing us and speaking to us. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Bye.